What's going on YouTube? This is CJS064 here, welcoming you to episode number 12 of the Pokemon X Monofight Egglock. If you guys are still sticking around and you're enjoying this LP, that is very great to hear. I do like hearing good news from you, the audience, because at the end of the day, it's what you guys want that makes us, the content creators, make what we do. So, if you guys go ahead and enjoy the series, go ahead and leave a like down below. If you want to see more videos like this, Go ahead and subscribe so you guys can keep up to date with all the videos I'm uploading as well. You can catch up with me on social media at Twitter at Sharpino1990 and on the Facebook group CJS064. Links are always down below, down there. And if you want to see me on the Facebook groups, Pokemon Wise, Zeno's down below. I've got I'm, I'm a, I'm a group of. Yeah, can't talk. I'm a part of different Facebook groups. Uh, I'll eventually do a post, or a vlog, sorry. Uh, discussing all the groups I'm a part of, so if you guys want to catch me up on all those other channels, uh, sorry, those other groups, you can go ahead and do that. So, uh, oh, hello, what do we have here? Our Red Hot looks a little bit different. That's because I evolved him into the Red Hot Mag Mortar. Now, I've had a look at his moveset. It's a completely identical. Magma and Mag Mortar have the exact same, they learn the same moves at the same pace. So, there was no reason why I should not level up and trade evolve this magma. So now it's a mag border. So let's go ahead and take a look at our team over here. Over here. Here. <laughs> a little tangled here with all these cords. First off, we have Wowsy the Braxton with light screen, side beam, flamethrower, and ember. Then we have Salad the La Vesta with ember, string shot, leech life, and flame shot. DK the Durham Marker with Headbutt, Rollout, Facade, and Fire Punch. Jalisk the Chim the Monferno. Now, I, I forgot to tell you this last episode in the break. I did buy Poison Jab from the Pokemon Center just here. And I did teach it to Jalisk, just so he has it for fairies. Poison Jab, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Mark Punch. Just, ah, pretty much. Next is the Torkoal. Super Torkoal. Came through against the Hawucha in the last episode. Top job, soup. We find through it, yawn, smog, and curse. And our newly evolved Mag Mortar with clear smog, fire punch, flame burst, and confused ray. Very powerful indeed. Our first, second stage evolution is the Red Hot. So, liking our team now. We do have an encounter here in Shallow City when we go ahead and surf. So let's go ahead and quickly swap out. Now, I'm just trying to think. We'll put uh, Salad at front because, as we've learned from the last episode, Magma is a force to be reckoned with. So we need to be as delicate as we can with these Pokemon so they don't cry when we hit them and they die. But then it just means we can't uh, use them. So. To get our encounter for this right here, we're going to go ahead and go for a little surfy surf over here. Surfy, surfy, surfy. We got ourselves an encounter. Surfy, surfy. It's a man time. Ooh, that's very nice. What level is that man time? Ooh, 27. Ooh, shit. I thought we were trying to be dark here, but fuck this guy. No, no, no. He, he wants to go all out. What? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See, I was worried about being too aggressive here. Uh, this man type might be a bit of a problem. We can get a burn on this. Nope. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll send in our J-list, no, no, our Wowsy, because we put Magma, Magmortar away thinking, oh, you know, we don't want to be too tough. But man, this man type is 27, jeez. If only I brought in now. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for a flamethrower. Let's see how much damage this flamethrower does. Wine gun. Wow. Okay. Scout for that heat wave. One more flamethrower should be enough to take uh, man fight down to red. Yellow. Not bad. The smiley face comes back. Thank you. Alright, so let's go ahead get a great ball out and let's catch this man type. That's a man, man tyke. And it's a man too. Whoa, when it kicks out. What are you, John Cena? Da, 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 da. Let's go for an ember. This should do a little bit. There we 
go. Let's go for a great ball now. It's down to red. Okay, come on, great ball. Attempt number two. Wow, this Mantok did not want to give up. So we'll go ahead and set up the white screen. He tries to water pulse us or something. We'll bring in salad so we can go ahead and see if we can get a flame body off from this uh, Manti here. We'll go ahead and heal up because I'm afraid that the water pulse might be able to kill us even though we've got the light screen up. And we get confused but that's not to worry because all we're doing is we're trying to catch this Pokemon. So, Netball, Netball. Alright, let's go ahead and use this uh, Nest Ball. Let's see if this Nest Ball has much of an impact on here. One. Okay, apparently not. It looks like that light screen is really paying off. God damn it, get in the damn ball, you son of a bitch. Get in the ball, man tight, get in the ball. God damn it, what's your problem? Get in the ball! Come on. God damn it, man tight. Get in the ball! Wasting our resources like this is not good. God damn it! What is the catch around this thing? Seriously? And we haven't even got a flame body on. What is this? Get in the ball! Alright, that's it. Let's bring our soup, yawn it, put it to sleep, then we'll try another great ball. My god, man, this is so annoying. Oh my god, man. Too cool. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but we digress. And we we'll yawn again. There we go, Mantyke is now asleep. My god, man, my god, you bloody Mantyke. You wasted about five of my great balls, you stupid son of a bitch. Now you're asleep and in red. Stay in the... What is this made of? John Cena. Du, 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 du. Stay in the ball. God damn it, red and asleep and still can't catch it. One, two, three. Finally, oh my god. This is just the start of it, ladies and gentlemen. Like honestly, this Manti, get the hell out of here. Everyone we're gonna experience because everyone's taking a part in this Manti takedown. Alright, so level 27 Manti. What an encounter that was. So we're gonna go ahead now, uh, head back to the surface. And uh, let's get our trusty number randomizer up and let's see what Pokemon we'll be replacing with this Manti. So Generate a number for us. Number, number, number. Do, 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 do. <sighs> My god, man, this freaking man's like, god damn. What is the catch around this thing? I'm gonna check that out afterwards. Number seven, that was Red Hot, which is currently leading the pack at the moment. Uh, number ten, that was Glade, the Litwick. 14, that was Kajirasu, which we got in the last episode. 11, that was Wowzy. Number 4. No, we haven't had number 4. Number 4 was sent in by William Knowles, who sent in Jalisk. So we're going to swap out for number 4. And the nickname is KFC. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing that's a torture because it's chicken. So, 
Uh, I'll be right back when I have this this KFC Pokemon. Alrighty then, we are back with KFC the Hatch. Like I said, more likely, I do believe this is a Torchic just because KFC chicken is kind of obvious. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what it is. Torchic! Like me some KFC. <laughs> Alrighty, KFC the Torchic. Um, I couldn't think of a more appropriate name for uh, for a chicken, needless to say. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, KFC here. As a speed boost. Ah, there you go. There you go. Following the firefighter from before. Adam and Nature was scratching ground, which isn't too bad. So I'll go ahead and make him level 27 to replace that Mantike in the next cut between the episodes. Um, but we'll go ahead now, return, um, the, uh, return the KFC back and we'll do it after. This was Kajirasu from the last episode, level 30, replacing the Lapras. And Firefly, the calm natured Larvesta that replaced the Mega Lucario that we got in the last episode. So, uh, we'll put Lapras in here. We'll go ahead and, um, this episode, let's see if we can make Braxton level 36 and get to level uh, 36 to make it a Delph Fox. That's gonna be our mission for this episode here. Now, we go to the question of the day today. The question of today is, uh, who is your favorite character in the Pokemon series? So, of all the cartoon series, main season one through, or whatever it is, like 18 or 17 of these now, who is your favorite character? Now, favorite good guy. I'm gonna have to go with Brock, and I'll tell you why I like Brock, because Brock's always trying to get the girl, he's always sad, uh, we won't charm that guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Brock is my favourite because he's very self-sufficient, very independent, he's the first gym leader you verse, and he's just a general good guy. And he's also the worst for Kyber from Yu-Gi-Oh, so another reason why I like, I like him. So, uh, favourite bad guy, I'm going to have to go with um, Paul. Paul from uh, Gen 4. Paul's just a, he was just so authoritative with his way, like he's very... Very, you know, very opinionated. And I just realised we haven't healed up yet. So, uh, we'll definitely do that after this uh, this battle here. Uh, but yeah, Paul is just, you know, stand by for battle! Just, so, he's such a badass. Like, I just, <laughs> he's honestly the greatest rival since, um, since, what is it? Uh, since, 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 since Gary, I reckon. We'll just put salad up there just in case we do need for a double battle. Alright, so that is my answer. So Brock is the good guy and uh, the bad guy goes to Paul. Now, we do need cut here because there's a leftovers sitting right underneath there. But I might do that in the cut as well. And there's also the... Uh, what is it? The... I mean, we don't need it. The, rip, the whipped dream and the shiny stone. But... I don't think there's any fire type Pokemon that require any of those to evolve, but we do need those leftovers, and we're going to get leftovers and lucky egg coming up. So that lucky egg is definitely going to come to help us. We got ourselves a Sviper, flamethrower, almost out of the flame. Uh, you bastard! Paralysis, but we snagged the burn, which is going to be enough to kill the Sviper, the mortal enemy of Zangus. And Rousey goes to level 34, which is fantastic. You're getting it. Learn Psy Shock. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Take care of that Psy Beam. Psy Shock. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Next up is Meal Tank. Meal, meal. Now, this could be a bit of a problem. Let's go for the Flamethrower. Ah, uh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, thank God we got that. Thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Actually, thank God we got paralyzed that time. <laughs> Turku! Let's go ahead and go for a yawn. Unleash it on nothing. Now, just in case he goes, we'll go ahead and swap back out into uh, Wowzy. Because now he's been yawned. Man, <laughs> I was actually a bit scared for a second. I was like, well, bye. 
he's doing it again. So, uh, I don't know what to do. We'll go for the flamethrower. I'm sure bite doesn't work through sleep. One more flamethrower to do the trick. Uh oh. Flamethrower. No! Oh my god. Flamethrower. Yes. Kill. Yes. Oh my god. I was like, no. No. And Stoop goes level 32. Good on you, Torkoal. Torkoal. Torkoal's amazing. He's just a good defensive ball. I've seen it on a lot of uh, fire teams. Which, funnily enough, Joseph, the guy who sent it, is actually the fire team leader of um, Zenus and a few other different groups as well. So, well, he was at one point. So, he definitely knows his things about fire types there. So, let's go ahead and run because I don't want to take on the mill tank while I'm paralyzed and half health. But we'll go ahead and see if we can heal up here. Paralyze heal. And another hyper potion there. Just to make sure that Wowsy is looking good. Mice want a bug type Pokemon is in tip top shape for a buzzer in a battle. Well, my, my fire type Pokemon are burning for bugs to burn. Alliteration. Let's see if we can get Wowsy through to level 35 for this battle here. I'm pretty sure we can. Down goes Yanmar. Let's see how much experience we get for that. Not much. Okay. Mothal. Hey, A Drive. Yo, A Drive. Sorry, we've got to burn you. Because, uh, well, technically, uh, A Drive's favorite bug po type Pokemon is Masquerade, but he's using Mothal as his uh, current mascot. So, it's it's Pokemon. Well, Pete, let's go for another flamethrower and a uh, bye bye. Burn! And Wowsy's living at level 35. Woot! Woot! And we defeat his buzzing bug Pokemon. Down she goes. Back for the bug, the big bug barbecue from the first, uh, the third episode. Yo, man, what's up? Same goose. Go, Wowsy! You're wowsing everyone with your, your, ah, uh, what the hell? That was so bad. What the hell? I misclicked that. No. Uh, okay. Flamethrower. I do know Zengus has no special defense whatsoever. That is its weakest attribute. Uh, followed closely by its defense. No, it's special attack, sorry. How dare you tune at me? Flamethrower! Uh oh. I just had this. I don't know why I had these thoughts that he's a psychic type at this point. That's why I was like, thank God he's not a psychic. Otherwise, we'll be up shit creek. And we're almost at 36. So we're almost going to have ourselves our second stage evolution in the game here, which is fantastic. And here we are at Colin. Oh, all the received. Hey, it's Serena. Hi, Serena. See Gym 64. I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. Jeez, no, hello, nothing. Just. Yo, I challenge you about a bite. I need a bite. Rude thing. Oh, God. Rude thing. Oh, yeah, I love a good rod. Great, we can go fishing now. Fantastic. So we can't surf, we fish. Now, team quiz, let's see. Yes. It makes the target lose its ability to concentrate and lose, lowers its special attack. That's confide. I wish you got acrobatics, that actually would be better. But I'm not gonna dis I'm not gonna argue a free TM. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a free lucky egg. Yes! 
All right, so leveling up and everything's going to be a lot easier to say the least. But now we're going to go back and um, get a Pokemon with Cut to... Oh, God damn it, we have to... No. All right, I'm going to do that in a cut for an episode. I'm going to get the leftovers in the next episode. Go back. No thing. Why, hello, CGSO64. Congratulations. I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the Trainer, and a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? It's only a hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and Trainer is the key to the new evolution. But what is this bond exactly? And why are there examples of Mega Evolution only in the Cold region? There's still so much we do not know. Does this mean you does this make you think of something like Kalos' legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else? Maybe that's not just a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed. The more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, no? Oh, that's right, I came here to give you this. HMO2. It allows you to fly to places, which is what we exactly need. Yeah, I promise you have any fly types. Use the HM Fly to populate all the Pokemon centers of places you've already visited. Well then, CGSO64, Diantha, I hope to see you both again soon. Until then, adieu. Bonds. They really are important to us all, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people or Pokemon. Oh, never mind me. I'm just babbling about my own feelings. Let's have a battle the next time we meet, shall we? I'm looking forward to it. Plot twist, she's the champion. Would you like to go on the monorail? Monorail! 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 If you don't get that reference, you're way too young. But, I don't... I don't judge the young. So let's go ahead. Leave here. We'll heal up. Get rid of this Lapras. And versus Serena. Because Serena is waiting for us. And we actually do have our fourth gym sitting right here. The grass type gym. Very exciting, no? Oh, yeah. Very exciting. So we'll go ahead. Put Magmora back. We'll just keep Lapras down there um, as our Surf Slave and our Stream Slave and our Rock Smash Slave and basically the other slave, uh, every other team we can learn. Oh wait, we didn't heal up. Oh shit. Uh, okay, I'm not even going to be bothered to... Okay, so we got ourselves a somewhat wowsy, not fully recovered. So let us see how we go in this matchup here against Meowstic. Wowzy! Oh, did we heal up? Um, okay, apparently we did heal up. I thought we haven't. Light Street, oh, you bastard. Now it's going to do nothing. Wow, that does nothing. Let's go for Psy Shock. This should go to the white screen. Oh, it does not. Okay. Uh, let's go for another flamethrower. Nee! That sounds so terrible. Nee! Wow, that's... Oh, yeah! Giggity, giggity. Now the burn. Giggity. Go for another flamethrower. That should be enough to kill this Meowstic. Now, the only problem we're going to have here is... That Greninja is going to pop up now. That is the only problem I see here. Now we've got level 36 Wowzy, which is fantastic. Because it just means that we do have it. Now, Frogadier. Ugh, it's going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and set up a... So I don't know if it's going to live. That's a problem. Uh, uh, we're going to bring in soup. Bring in soup. Go for a yawn. <sighs> problem, problem, problem. Oh, good. Probably should have set up a live stream. But we didn't want to take any chances. We'll go for the yawn. Ooh, 
Oof. All right, so we eat that up pretty well. Now we'll go ahead and swap in for Jalisk. Because if uh, he goes for a quick attack, that actually works out better for us in the long run. So, that's beautiful. We predicted that very well. And now Froggy is asleep. All right, so now we're within range to go ahead and go for two Thunder Punches or a Muck Punch. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Now we'll go ahead and go for the Muck Punch, and with the Expert, not Expert Belt, the, the one that increases the power flying times. It, it'll do, do the damage. Absolutely. Now, Jayla should have no problems taking this out with Muck Punch. Lids goes for a bite. We resist that. Did a bit of damage though, even though it's resisted, but not to worry. Another Muck Punch is enough to take out this absolute fantastic. Ooh. And I almost reached level 33. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was so close. But ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an evolution. Congratulations, we now have Del Fox. Fantastic. We have ourselves Del Fox. There we go. Wants to learn Mystical Fire. We'll get rid of Ember for that one because I mean it's a lot better than Ember. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll get our second second stage evolution Pokemon on here, and it is Wowzy the Del Fox. Even though we set off from Banneville Town at the same time, you somehow became stronger than I am. What could be so different about us? Well, good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? Oh, man, this is so fantastic. This is perfect. I'm so happy. We have ourselves a Del Fox. Woo-hoo! Living on a prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, next up will be Jalisk. So let's go ahead and get Jalisk leveled up through this grass gym. And, um... Let's see if we can get Jalisk to an Infernape by the end of this episode. Because that would be tops if we can get two, two evolutions in one episode. It would be fantastic! Absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Coramine City Gym. So we're almost, we're just about the halfway point of the game as far as gym badges now. As far as the game itself, no we're not. We've still got so much to do. But it's a good thing because it means that we get more time to play the game. You guys get more time to hang out with me and everything else. And if you're enjoying it, it just means you get to enjoy it a lot more. So, leave a comment down below tell me how you guys are doing first off. And if you guys want to chat, all links down below for social media. And uh, also comment your favourite characters in the Pokemon series. Good or bad or both. Let's go ahead and go for a Fire Punch. This Fire Punch, okay, Semi Sage outspeeds us. Goes for a few swipes and gets two hits on us. This fire punch should do a heavy hit. It takes out the semi stage. Taken down on the word go! Pokemon Sam commentator. Love that guy. I've been watching Game Boy Luke and um, King Nappy do Pokemon Sam on the 64 on the emulator. And it just brings back so many memories of me playing the game when I was younger because um, I first started playing Pokemon Sam when I was seven. And the first game I got with it was uh, Pokemon Stadium with Yellow. And they had the expansion pack so you could play the Game Boy game on there. And what made it so awesome was if you progressed through on the game, you could actually play the game on a with a faster speed, which made it like terrific. So uh, we got ourselves another Ranger, all these Rangers. Pharisee, ha! You're not going to have fun against this Jailer, so I can tell you that much. <laughs> Fire punch! Quite effective. We take some iron barbs, but it's a small price to pay 
for the death of a fair Oh, that looks sad. I've never seen Ferrothorn die like that before. Now, we might have a bit of a problem, but we'll go ahead and go for the Poison Jab, because it is a Grass type, so... Oh, you bitch! Thank you. But we do have the Poison Jab, we'll go ahead and Poison Jab this, is super effective. Oh, yeah! Taking out those pesky Grass Water types, damn you. And Jalisk is moving up in the world. Carnivine! Fire Punch is a go! And Carnivine gets taken down. I have a feeling he might live because I know Carnivine is a very defensive grass type. Jazz is level 34. Fantastic. Fantastic. And Maurice has been defeated. Alrighty then. So, uh. Da -da 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 -da. Tell me how you guys are liking the channel, tell me how you guys are doing, because I do take an interest in your guys' lives. And as always, I'll ask you to leave a like down below and subscribe, because, as always, your support is appreciated. And the more likes these videos get, the more chances that other people get to go ahead and watch these videos. And I've already started making plans for my next project. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the project is, but needless to say, it is going to be a very good project. It does involve another Pokemon LP, and involves another special rule in place, that is going to, it's never been done before, much like the Chili Rock, it's never been done before, so I've made, ah, uh, you mother, mm. poison point, bitch, ah, oh, out. Ah, get to the chopper! Worm it in. God damn, Rosalia. Go for the fire punch. Down goes Worm it in. Yeah. Alright, so this next project is another LP I'm doing on another Pokemon game, and the set of rules I put onto it, once again, has not been done before. So, it is going to be a unique LP, much like the Chili Lock. So, if you haven't gone and checked out the Chili Lock, at the end of every episode, I've got links to all the previous LPs I've done, Wi Fi battles. You can always check my channel for playlist. I've got the CGS 064 Go segment going now. And hopefully, uh, we can finish off this LP so that we can go ahead and get started this LP. Now, warning, this LP is, I'm going to say it's rated mature 15 plus just because of this special kind of rule that I'm doing. But at the same time, uh, based on countries, uh, will determine whether it's possible for you to go ahead and play along with me with this one. So that's your only clue that I'm going to give you with that one. So. We're going to continue going through here. We've got Jalisk at 34. We're almost at 36 to get uh, Jalisk evolving to an Infernape. Which will be fantastic if we can actually get there. Uh, we've got ourselves Executor. 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 Wow, it lives. Oh no. No. Oh my god! No! We were so close! I just banged over that. We were so close! Oh my god! Are you kidding me right now? Wow! That sucks ass real bad. God damn it. Like a mother. Wow, that sucks so hard. We were so close to getting Jalus to an Inferno. And a side shock, not even a crit, just kills it. Wow. I am very angry right now because we were so close. This close! <sighs> but here we are, we're at the gym leader now. Jump Pluff is the first Pokemon. So, um, Black Belt, that's what I keep forgetting to call it. Oh my god, that's so bad. <sighs> yeah, 
You know what? We'll leave with mag. We'll leave with um, red hot. Just because I know this um, jump pluff is going to paralyze us. Let's go ahead and get this battle over away, under away. <laughs> so you made it clear up here, eh? I'm the gym leader. Ramos is the name. So what do you think, Whipper Schnapper? Do you enjoy the garden playground I made with all these starry plants of mine? This strength is a sign of my strength as a gardener and as a gym leader. You sure you're up to facing all that? Yes, I am. Even though we just lost Jalus to something as stupid as a side shock, yes, we are. God damn it, that is so bad. Jump Pluff. So, Jump Pluff, uh, Gloom, and the. Uh, the Goat. Go Go, that's it. So, Go Go's going to be a bit of a problem because the Go Go does, in fact, have Earthquake. Very nice. A Magmortar burns enough to kill? Yes it is. Down goes the Jump Pluff. Go Go. Okay, here we go. Go Go, level 34, let's go for a Flame Burst. Almost kills it, Bulldoze. Oh, f uh, I don't think we can do another one. Uh, 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 um. Let's go ahead and bring in soup because soup should be able to take on this hit a bit better. Um. Now, it could be healing up here, so we'll go ahead and go for a yawn just in case he's trying to. What the hell? Where's the Earthquake? I was expecting the Earthquake, and this Bulldozer is a move I was I got confused about. That was a crit. No, it wasn't. And Flamethrower should take out the Go-Go. <laughs> Down goes the Go-Go. You got good. You got to go. We can build. That's the last one. I thought it was um, the Acid. Down goes the Weaving Bell. Ooh. Soup pulling through it once again. Soup is uh, pulled through the Fighting Gym. He's pulling through. Wants to learn Body Slam. Uh, yes, sure. Uh, we'll take over Smog. So Soup learned Body Slam. Fantastic. And we defeat Ramos. Fantastic. <laughs> you believe in your Pokemon. I've got an Irish now. And in... They believe in you too. Mighty oaks from acorns grow. Go on then, you have earned it. Here your own plate badge, you sprout. So we get ourselves the plant badge. There we go. Nice, beautiful plant badge from Ramos. If you got yourself a plant badge, then you can use the hate on fly even when you're battling. It's a real boon. Pokemon to level 60 will listen to you too. Easy as falling off a log. Even if you got enough from a trade. Here, have this too. Might as well make this hay. Make hay while the sun shines, I reckon. So we got Timo's 86 Grass Knot. Now, I don't think any fight up. I think, uh, well, you can learn it. That TM there is for Grass Knot. You can use it to trip your opponent up in the grass. The heavier the opponent, the harder it will fall. And the more it hot. Ain't it a marvel? Fair little blades of grass can break through concrete, even. I can't help admiring their strength. So, we've got the special door that's going to open, and I think we're going to wrap it up here and... I think we're going to bring in Kajirasu to fill the void of uh, Jayla's key. So, thank you very much for uh, watching this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave a like down below because, as always, your support is appreciated. And the more likes these videos get, the more chances people do go to have to watch these videos. So, until the next time I see you guys, uh, have a great day, have a great night. Whoever's watching this, wherever you're watching this, this is CJ of Cersei's 4 over and out. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. I'm not a man, 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 I'